The MTech in intelligence systems includes topics such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, pattern recognition, robotics, computer vision, language processing, etc. These are all currently very hot topics and hence are also included in many other similar programs. However, one unique part of the MTech is its emphasis on practical skills and applications building. At least 50% of class time is devoted to workshops and case studies so that students can learn by doing rather than just learn by studying. Our goal is not to train research scientists so we keep theory to a minimum where possible. Instead, our goal is to train practitioners who, upon completing their studies, can straight away go on to design and build intelligent systems for solving real-world applications. Since the MTech in Intelligent Systems is about designing and building intelligent software systems, then applicants should have some coding and development experience. It does not have to be to a great depth, but you will be developing code for many of the workshops in languages like Python, so you must be prepared for this. If you are weak in this area, then we recommend that you do some prior self-study to get up to speed. Regarding academic prerequisites, again we have some flexibility on subject matter. Successful candidates typically have undergraduate degrees either in information technology, computer science, electrical or mechanical engineering, financial engineering, biotech, math or statistics, etc. Clearly, this will depend on the quality of the graduate but in general, our graduates who study in full-time mode usually are able to find a job within months of completing their studies. Often the job offer will come from the company where the student has been undertaking their internship. Some of our very able students often have multiple job offers to choose from. For students who are studying in part-time or stackable mode, they will usually already have a job, so will be looking to upgrade or transition to a new role. Given the current high demand for graduates with data analytics and AI skills, this transition should also be able to happen fairly quickly. The modules in the MTech program are mapped to professional short courses, typically three to five days long, that can be taken by anyone and at their own pace. These short courses are grouped together into sets of three or four related courses to form a graduate certificate that provides the skills for a specific job role. For example, we have a set of three integrated courses on vision and sensing systems that will give you the skills required to become a vision systems architect. On completion of each set of courses, you can choose to take an assessment module, which we call a practice module. And if you complete this successfully, you will be awarded a graduate certificate. For example, a graduate certificate in practical language processing or a graduate certificate in intelligent software agents. These graduate certificates are intended to be standalone. You can take just one or you can take many. If you successfully complete four qualifying graduate certificates and complete a capstone project, then you will be awarded an MTech. All of our faculty members have industry experience in the areas that they teach, and many of them also have PhDs in these areas too. Since our curriculums are geared towards practical skills, ISS puts great emphasis on its staff also being active practitioners. For example, I have worked in organizations including Amazon.com and Microsoft undertaking projects and applications involving data analytics, machine learning and artificial intelligence. 